Detroit Homecoming begins today and it will be highlighting some local businesses. We're looking at some of the fashions from one of the companies that will be part of the Back to Business Marketplace in just a few days. And joining us now, one of the event's participants, Gross Point native Christina Litke, founder of A Story. And those were some of your fashions we were just showing there. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you for having me. First of all, tell us a little bit about your business. So a story was really inspired by uh, the many cities I've lived in and what we are calling community apparel. And uh, what, you're, what you find is not something that really resonates with the female consumer. So we created a brand that really has community uh, by leveraging digital iconic prints. So you can see the Detroit skyline on the shawl in the back. I have on a scarf that has the Detroit skyline on it. Um, and really marrying this with you know, clothing that's easy to pack, easy to travel with, it's multifunctional, you get so many styles out of each piece, um, and, and it's seasonless, so it takes you all year round. Um, and, and we really want to own the community because it's so important to us as females. You know, a lot of times with Detroit Home and Coming in years past, you know, we hear from so many people who've moved away and they've done well and they're talking to people about how they can do well here, but also wherever you go, you have taken your business to New York, but yet you are now moving it back here in Michigan. Explain that for us. Yeah, so I'm, I'm super excited about being back here. Um, I fully transitioned back here about a month ago. We're bringing the business here. Uh, Detroit Homecoming has actually been a huge influence in making this decision to come back to Detroit. Um, our manufacturing actually for the clothing line has been here in Detroit all along. Uh, we manufacture our accessories at the St. Luke Life Center in Flint, Michigan, so really creating jobs and income for many people there, especially the women. Um, and moving back to Detroit uh, really resonates not only with the brand, but resonates with with our, our total story. So that's where the kind of name of the company came from, but also being a part of the city and, and making an impact here. Wonderful. Now you're gonna be part of the Back to Business Marketplace this week, it's this Friday. Tell us about it. So the Back to Business Marketplace is, this is the first year Detroit Homecoming has, brought, has come together and brought this to the, the community. And it is in Cadillac Square this Friday from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. And it's really bringing 20 very unique small businesses to medium-sized businesses, all in some sense of design. So a lot of fashion brands, um, you know, some other design brands will be there. And it's all about highlighting these brands and, and bringing, you know, back to business during this very challenging year, bringing awareness to these brands. So it's a very exciting event that they'll be hosting for the first time ever. And I hope to see a lot of people there. Now, is anyone welcome to attend? Everybody is welcome to attend. It's outside. Um, it's going to be a gorgeous day from what we can see. And, uh, and you know, definitely bring your pocketbooks and support the local community. I was about to say, just watching this video, I was kind of shopping in my mind. If people want to buy some of your fashions, where can they go online as well? Sure. So you can go to a story, uh, which is spelled A S T O U R I dot com, and then you can see me at the marketplace this Friday. Fantastic. Christina, thank you so much. Founder of a story, um, formerly in New York, but now doing business, making those clothes right here in Michigan. Thank you so much for being with us today and inspiring so many um, business owners in our area as well. Thank you so much for having me today. Continue. Good luck to you.